Welcome back to Electro Study YouTube channel. Before starting the session, we request everyone to subscribe our channel and support us. In this video, we are going to discuss most important competitive examinations preparation, which will be required for both public sector and private sector companies. If you are looking for semiconductor companies, this video will be useful. The topic is basic electronics and uh, we have prepared 10 important questions which can be expected in the forthcoming examination. We are mainly focusing on the following subtopics, active and passive devices, light emitting diodes and rectifiers. You need to know what is active device. The device which produces energy in the form of current and voltage. Or else you can say that the device which produces power gain, for example, power MOSFET, power IGBT, signal MOSFET, signal IGBT, then logic gates, etc. are called active devices, where inductor, capacitor and the resistors are known as passive devices. LED, you know, it's a light emitting diode, it's a PN junction, forward biased, also rectifiers. Rectifier is a device which convert AC power into DC power or AC voltage into DC voltage. So you need to know the difference between full wave rectifier and a half wave rectifier. There are two types of rectifier. One is full wave rectifier, another is half wave rectifier. Full wave rectifier is segmented into bridge rectifier and center tapped rectifier. So please note down these parameters. This is very important for your competitive examination point of view. Also, you have to note down, you have to bifurcate the difference between half wave and full wave rectifiers. So these points I request everyone to update. All right, we have prepared 10 important questions. Let me scroll down. Before moving on to the discussion, I request everyone to note on the right answer so that this will help you for revising and you can understand your, where you are standing right now, your learning capability. So there are 10 questions as I said earlier. Please go through that. You can pause the video if necessary, then put down the right answer. All right. Yes. Now moving on to the discussion. Let us go individually. First question. What is the typical voltage drop of 7805 fixed positive voltage regulator? So can you identify the answer? Yes, we have four options. The right answer is B, option B. You can go for 2 volt. It's the right answer. Moving ahead. So please note down the another question. In light emitting diode, power consumption is in the order of which would be the appropriate answer. So please think once. Anyway, it's a low power con the device which consumes very less amount of power, right? So obviously, it will be in the range of 5 to 10 milliwatts. So please select the option. Okay. Now moving on to the further question. Full wave rectifier with the resistive load produces. So you need to know what is harmonics. Suppose the output waveform, which is not exactly in the sinusoidal shape, that is because of harmonics. There are different reasons for the harmonics that we'll discuss afterwards. So can you identify the answer? To be frank, A, B, C, all are wrong only. There won't be any harmonics in case of full wave rectifier with the resistive load. Obviously, which is the right answer? Yes, the right answer is option D, none of this. All right. So moving further, load current in rectifier circuit is you can imagine what about the rectifier, how about the load current flow. Obviously, it's a unidirection only. Please select option B. Correct? So you can make a note of this. Single pole, single throw. Single pole, double throw. Double pole, single throw. And double pole, single throw. These switches are dash. What kind of switches are there? Can you identify the best answer? Of course, it's basically solid state relays. All right. Please recall the table, which I already mentioned. Ripple factor of three-phase full-wave rectifier, but it's not given. A typical question. 
a three phase full rectifier what is the value of r of ripple factor obviously the right answer is 0.055 please make a note of this very important the peak value of load voltage of bridge rectifier is 40 volt what is the root mean square value of output voltage so you already know that what is the rms value so we can write v rms v rms equal to vm by root 2 where vm is the maximum value or peak value so peak value is already given 40 40 divided by root 2 if you solve 40 by root 2 is nothing but how much 28.3 volt this will be the ultimate answer so which option will you select obviously i i, I gonna select option d i think it's clear to everyone moving ahead maximum value of rectification ratio of full wave rect rectifier what is rectification ratio it is nothing but efficiency what is the value so which is the right answer so the right answer is we can select 81.2 81.2 is the right answer go for option c moving on to question number nine integrated circuits are generally made up of the right answer is silicon integrated ic's can you tell me some examples of ic's lm471 is one of the example okay likewise you can able to say different type of ic's ripple factor of bridge rectifier is can you identify the answer the right answer is what is the correct answer of bridge rectifier ripple factor of bridge rectifier so i already referred the table the right answer is 0 0.481 so please select option c so please keep in keep, keep in mind about that particular table refer the table okay try to remember that will be helpful for competitive examination let me know if you are having any question you can put up in the comment box thank you for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe like share and give a suitable comment to us thank you for your kind support have a good day